Hello viewers, today I will be registering the Uniden multi-range base unit, which is this, to the, D, uh, the D1780 series base unit, which is this one. This cradle is model uh, DRX33, and it's part of the 3380 series, or at least that's what it came with. But I don't really like the 3380 base all that much. So I want to use the 1780 base instead, which I like a fair bit better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the base into registration mode. So I'm going to press and hold the fine handset button for about five seconds until it beeps. Okay, now the base is in registration mode. So now on this on this cradle, there's a little button here. I'm going to press that, and um, that's supposed to change this. So you see, link is now flashing. And when it links up fully, it should stay on steady. So I'm going to put this on the table here and let's see what happens. And when I read about this in the manual, um, they made it out like it was really easy. Although, of course, Uniden's not really good at making manuals, so. There could very well be some convoluted step to this that they didn't underscore well enough for me to understand. Because I don't see nothing happening here. Um, let's see here. The base is still in registration mode. I don't see anything happening. So, um, that's cool. Well, not really, but ugh. Oh, did it just link? Well, let's see here. I have a feeling that it's it didn't link. It, it's back on the old base. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to disconnect this um, this base and see if it if it loses the link. Oh, look at that! It did actually work. It just took ridiculously long. Okay, so that was successful. So that's it. It's uh, It actually is as simple as they made it out to be. It just takes a very long time. So that's how you register the what was this, DRX-33. DRX-33 multi-range uh, range extender charge cradle thing uh, to the base unit. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out.